name is Chelsea. I'm a senior animal care specialist here at Odyssey Aquarium. I'm Morgan and I'm an animal care specialist here at Odyssey Aquarium. And we have one of our most beloved animal ambassadors right here for you. She is a southern three-banded armadillo and this is Pickles. For those of you who have already adventured at Odyssey Aquarium, you may have met Pickles. She lives in our back of house behind the scenes area. We bring her out for special appearances. She is one of our favorite mammals we have here at Odyssey, for sure. And what we're doing right now is we have her outside in the courtyard in front of the aquarium, and we've brought out some enrichment. Enrichment is basically a fancy word for anything that we give our animals that is physically and mentally stimulating and also brings about species specific and species appropriate behaviors. Basically just means that we give them fun things for them to do, stimulates their mind, stimulates their bodies, and they can actually be the species that they are. So with pickles, some things, some natural behaviors that she has that are very important to her as an armadillo are foraging, digging, using her nose. If you get up close there, Jake, and you look at all of her body parts, you can tell, and I'll get into a little bit uh, further here in a little bit. Look at she's those claws. made, yeah, look at those claws. She's <laughs> made to live in the dirt. So here we have some organic potting soil mix. Uh, it's approved by our veterinarian. There's no additives, nothing in, uh, you know, unpure about it. And we're gonna give her a chance to dig around in here. She's never had this before. So hopefully she'll find this really enriching and reinforcing to be out here. We've given her some newspaper to hide under. She also has this fancy plastic castle because she is a princess and deserves the best in <laughs> castle structures. And we're gonna give her a chance to just be an armadillo. So Morgan, why don't you put her in there? You ready, Pickles? See what she does. That is exciting. Now, as I mentioned, she is a southern three-banded armadillo. There she goes right away. <laughs> I'm sure she's having fun. She's a southern three-banded armadillo, and they are found in Central and South America in dry grasslands and forest areas. And they are really good at digging around and looking for insects. They're primarily insectivores, but they will branch out and eat some vegetation here and there. But again, her best sense is probably her nose. If you can get in there nice and close, Jake, we can help you move around there too if you need. You can see she's shoving it into the dirt. It is That nose is nonstop. It is going like a motorboat for sure. It is picking up all the smells in that soil. We also have some super worms here. Morgan, do you want to show them the super worms? Yeah. They've been in the sun, so they're really active and really awake. And we can give her some of those so she can munch on them. Morgan can bury them in the uh, potting soil so she can forage for them. Do you want a but worm? <laughs> You're having too much fun? I'm super stoked about this potting soil. It is amazing. She's having the best time and I'm so happy about that. Morgan also has some other enrichment devices. They may look familiar. They're items that you might also buy for your pets at home. Your dog got there those Kong a line of Kong items. So we have what we call a hex ball and we have a mini, mini Kong. Morgan has stuffed a super worm inside that mini Kong so she can forage for that later. We also have a normal size Kong that you might fill with peanut butter for your dog at home. But we also stuff food items for our animals in these Kongs. Maybe not dog food because we don't have dogs here at <laughs> the aquarium, but also uh, species appropriate food items. So Pickles has decided to camp out in her castle. She's gonna explore that for a little bit. That is very exciting. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit more about uh, facts of armadillos and some of their biology. So one of the most common questions that we get about Pickles is, is she a mammal? Is she a reptile? It's a little bit confusing for people and she is considered a mammal. So they do have that hard shell or armor on them and it's made out of keratin. So that's the same thing that your hair and your fingernails are made up of. So it is really strong and it's multiple layers of keratin so it helps protect her, but it's not completely impenetrable. So another really common question that we get here at the aquarium is what are natural predators to an armadillo? So they're pretty small and they really wouldn't make a good meal for most predators, but the predators that they do have in the rainforest and in Central and South America are actually going to be large uh, predators like cats and things like that in the forest. Now the main way that they actually defend themselves against predators is not letting them find them in the first place. So they're gonna burrow underground and make sure that they're staying hidden from predators. 
But if a predator finds them, they actually can curl up into a ball. So that's a really interesting fact for a three-banded armadillo-like pickles is that they are the only species of armadillo that can curl up into a complete ball. So her nose, or her head plate, and her shell completely close together like puzzle pieces, and it allows her to protect them herself from predators. Now what they'll do if a predator is coming after them is they'll keep their shell a little bit open to be able to snap shut and pinch the toe or something like that of a predator if they are trying to go after them. And that usually will give them enough time that the predator gives up on trying to hunt them and they can scurry away and find something to hide under like Pickles is doing right now. She's showing off for you guys. Now another really interesting fact about them because they are mammals they do have hair but they don't really have hair along their back and their shell there it's actually going to be underneath so you'll see those little white hairs that are underneath Pickles's belly and she's also using those to feel around very similar to a cat or a dog uses their whiskers to be able to feel around their surroundings. Now we are also going to be answering questions so if you guys have questions feel free to ask those right on Facebook live and then we are going to be answering those in just a minute or two so Jake, do you guys have any questions already? I do. Olivia wants to know, can they swim? Can armadillos swim? Unfortunately not. They are not built for swimming like some of their um, family relatives like sloths. So their closest relatives are actually sloths and anteaters. They're in the Xenarthran family. And sloths are excellent, excellent swimmers, but unfortunately armadillos are not. One of our top fans, Dave, wants to know, why does an aquarium have an armadillo? That's an excellent question. So we do get that question a lot here at the aquarium. And one of the big missions that we have here at Odyssey Aquarium is teaching and educating all of our guests about the importance of healthy oceans and how that affects all ecosystems. So living in the desert here, even though we don't have an ocean right next door, the decisions that we make affect our own ecosystem right here in the desert. So by having some of our animal ambassadors like pickles, some of our reptiles, even our birds or our sloths, even though they don't live in the ocean, they're affected by healthy, open, healthy oceans and pollution. Good. We talked about them rolling up into a ball, but do they actually roll? I'm sure they could if they really tried. <laughs> It'd be an interesting thing to see. It's not something I've seen myself, but I'm sure it's quite possible if they uh, were really trying to stay away from a predator and felt especially threatened. Any other questions, Jake? How big do they get? Pickles is full size. She's actually on the small end of size for her species, but she is full grown as a four-year-old adult female. So you won't see her get any bigger than this. They are one of the smaller species of armadillos. The largest species of armadillo is the giant armadillo, and they can get about five feet long. They're pretty intensely huge. Pretty cool. Now every day, while you guys are quarantining at home, in the mornings, we're having an oceanic adventure from home, which is educational content that we're putting on our website to help you guys with homeschooling and just keeping the kids occupied and even adults occupied. It's actually fascinating information for all ages. So be sure to check out our website for that. In the afternoons, we're doing our a quarantine series, which is this Facebook Live is a part of. We'll be doing Facebook Lives from all over the aquarium with all of our different species of animals here, focusing on how we care for them, what we do for them, on a daily basis and how we're continuing that really great care to promote the best welfare that we can while we're closed as an aquarium. Now we are closed. We are working on two different what we call quarantine teams. So Morgan and I are on the same team and we have the week split. So we have the first team, which is Team Sunshine, and the second team, which is Team Rainbows. Morgan and I are on Sunshine and uh, we do half the week and our other team of animal care specialists does the other half of the week. So we're really doing our part to do social distancing and minimizing our contact with each other to stay healthy here at the aquarium while we're working to care for our animals. It's pretty fun. Now, what can people do to help out the aquarium even though we're closed right now? Morgan, that is an awesome question. What can you guys do to help out the aquarium while we're closed? We have uh, several opportunities for the general public to help us out. The first is uh, my favorite, it's called Two Tickets to Go. It's where you can go on the website and buy two tickets and you can buy them anytime after we open back up. So basically it's just reserving your spot to come back into the aquarium once we can open our doors again when life gets back to a little bit of normalcy. Another one is going on the website and just making a donation. Any amount can help. The donations go directly into caring for our animal collection on a daily basis, purchasing food, um, medicine, med medical supplies, um, PPE for us, anything that will help us function on a daily basis. If you would like to help us out and donate towards that, any amount will help. A dollar, five dollars, fifty dollars, um, 
any uh, any amount of generosity we sincerely appreciate here at Odyssey Aquarium. Now, if you guys are interested in anything else and visit it and learning more about the aquarium, you can also check out our website. So we have live nest cams going on with some of our exhibits, including our sea lions, where you can actually see what they're going, what they're doing, even during our a quarantine. And you can also check out more of our uh, different Facebook lives and our oceanic adventure series, which will be going on every morning. Um, and make sure you guys are staying tuned on our Facebook. If you guys enjoyed this Facebook Live, make sure you share it with your friends so that everyone can see what we're doing here at Odyssey Aquarium and join us during our Aquarantine series. Awesome. So we see that Pickles is awake and running around right now. Are they nocturnal or are they normally sleeping during the day? So technically they are considered a nocturnal species, So, but Pickles likes to wake up during the day and explore some of her surroundings, especially because that is usually when we're going to be giving her enrichment and doing things like that um, because uh, most of our animal care staff is not here overnight. Um, but usually after she's doing a big exercise like this or playing and doing something, she's going to go back and nap for the rest of the day. <laughs> they can sleep about 16 hours a day. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Tracy wants to know how old is Pickles? So Pickles is actually going to be four years old this May, so she is still relatively young. They can live upwards of 15 to 20 years. Um, so she is still pretty young, but we're excited to celebrate her birthday next month. Hmm. Another way to contribute is also um, buying our animals enrichment. That's something I talked about at the beginning of the live. So if you're just tuning in, I'll refresh. It's one of my favorite things to talk about, and that's animal enrichment. So you guys can see this amazing green castle that we gave Pickles to uh, spend some time in. Morgan's got some Kong toys over here, like similar to the ones that you would give your pets at home. Our animals also like interacting with this enrichment as well. And enrichment is really anything we give our animals that will physically and mentally stimulate them to bring about species uh, appropriate behaviors. So we have uh, our own Amazon wish list where we have listed items that our animals find enriching and reinforcing and really overall fun to use. So if you guys are so inclined to go on our Amazon wish list and purchase a few uh, basically toys for our animals, uh, it would be appreciated by humans and animals alike. How did we get, oh, sorry. That's okay. People want to know is how did Pickles get her name? That's a great question. It just kind of happened one day when we were trying to figure out names when we first got here to the aquarium. Uh, someone made a joke about dill pickles and an armadillo. So it just was born that way. So Pickles became our armadillo. So thank you for joining us for lunch with a side of pickles right here with our armadillo pickle. <laughs> That's you, right? Well, if you guys enjoyed this Facebook Live, please share with a friend. We always love to share uh, everything we're doing here at Odyssey Aquarium during our, our quarantine with uh, all of our guests and our fans on Facebook. So we hope to see you guys as soon as our doors open after uh, life gets back to normal. And we hope you guys enjoy uh, your day and enjoy your time at home. Bye, everyone. Thank you for joining. <laughs>